What up everybody? So my movie theater was showing Evil Dead 2 Saturday and Sunday night and I went tonight and I picked this movie in particular because I do have the VHS. Um, I did watch the movie a couple years ago and I've seen the first one and I don't really remember much from either of them so I can't really say I like this one better than the first one because I gotta watch the first one again. I definitely do like Evil Dead 2 better than Army of Darkness. I don't understand why people love that movie so much. Um, it was Yes, these movies are silly, but that movie got way too silly for me. Um, watching this in the movie theater, even a, it was a pretty empty theater. There was only like four other people there. And I brought a buddy with me. But I had a good time. Uh, Slaps the comedy was really good. Bruce Campbell's acting is really good. He doesn't get too much dialogue, but his acting range is it's kind of like Nicolas Cage. One scene he's kind of cheesy and over the top. Some scenes he does really good dramatic stuff. And in some scenes he's kind of all right, could do better. Um, obviously, this is, he's like a B-list actor. <clears throat> but, I mean, Ash Williams, Bruce Campbell, it's a pretty iconic role. Um, I didn't really grow up on the movies. I grew up on the game. Uh, the first one I bought was Fistful of Boomstick. And then as I got older, I bought Regeneration with the little midget. That game is a ton of fun. You guys should play it. I have not beat it yet. But uh, yeah, I've never been a diehard Evil Dead fan. I know there's a lot of people out there that are like just fucking crazy about this franchise. Just like a... Like, Star Wars fans and Marvel fans. Like, people love this shit. And I definitely, definitely see why. But, um, I really appreciate, you know, Sam Raimi's work. Watching it on the big screen is really cool. Seeing all the practical effects. And seeing how much he could do with just so little that he had to work with. It really is impressive. And for, I would say, like, 98% of this movie holds up. Like, the blood effects are really good. The only effects are aren't the best or when the deadites are kind of like dancing around obviously it just doesn't look good the movie was made in the 80s but other than that the blood and the, the kills look really good the deadites faces their like how they look the reactions and how they jump out um the jump scares are really good that actually got me a couple times didn't see those coming there's a couple of good really intense scenes and some really nasty kills um, the only complaint I ever had with the Evil Dead movies, I find the games, I find Evil, uh, Evil Dead. In the Evil Dead games, I find Ash just has more of a personality. Here, he kind of seems like a one-note character. I always felt, like, I know that these movies are meant to be cheesy and they're just about, you know, killing the Deadites. And it's a very simple plot and you can't go wrong with that. But, like, if you're looking for something deeper, obviously, this isn't the movie for you. I always thought that they could have been a bit longer, maybe like 20 minutes to a half hour. I think it would be cool to just get to know him a bit more. I don't feel like we know much about him. But at the same time, that's not what these movies are, are about. So I completely understand. But I don't know. If we could get that one day in an Evil Dead movie, if Bruce Campbell ever came back, I think that would be really cool. Just a bit like a, a, a backstory or... A bit of an emotional connection just like something um i don't know because like even if he did die in this movie i mean i wouldn't really care i'm not really connected to him in any way but at the same time i would care because he is our main character and he's pretty iconic he's kind of like darth vader he's pretty badass he has a lot of one-liners that are really good but yeah you guys you guys know what i mean um, overall, I'd give this movie like a 3.5 out of 5. <clears throat> I don't think any of the Evil Dead movies are perfect, but I think they're just a good cheesy popcorn movie, and it's fun to watch with your friends. It's really good to just watch with other people and just have a good laugh, and then when the movie's over, you don't really think anything about it. So I understand, though, why this was such a big deal back in the day. Um, I'm not really a fan of Evil Dead Rise. It was okay. I find the trailer ruined a lot of the movie. And 
Uh, yeah, I gotta watch Evil Dead 1 again. Um, not sure if I like this one more or not, but I did enjoy this. Um, I don't know if I'll watch it again. Like, I don't really have a desire to. Just like I said, it's an easy popcorn flick. Turn your brain off for an hour and a half. Uh, the pacing's pretty good. There's a couple of kind of boring scenes. But, yeah, for the most part, how this was shot, like, the chase scenes. Like, Sam Raimi apparently put a motorcycle on his bike and just drove through the forest. So, there was a lot of effort that was put into just filming it. Obviously, it's not as easy as it was today. It is today. Um, I hope. I, I know it's a stretch because Bruce Campbell said he was done after the show. But I really hope he, they can just make like one more stupid Evil Dead movie. I'm not a huge fan of the ones that take themselves too seriously because I don't feel like they should have the Evil Dead name attached to them. Uh, they might not be bad movies, but I think they should be called something else, if that makes sense to you guys. Uh, yeah, we have a couple of characters in here that really aren't interesting. I don't really... The acting from them was alright. It just really was on ash the whole time obviously um getting the chainsaw and the shotgun super iconic some really good one-liners and overall just a good time at the theater so it was fun just going to the theater and watching a movie that came out before i was even born and you know i can say i watched it in the movie theater um like if the, there's a bunch of old movies i could come back i would definitely go to the tickets were ten dollars I could watch it easily at home. I got a VHS player or I could watch it streaming, but I just thought it would be different. I don't think I've ever done that. Got to watch an old movie on the big screen. So that was definitely worth it. Definitely made the movie a lot more enjoyable and more fun. Just having a friend to laugh with. A lot of laughs. A lot of good, stupid moments in this movie. And uh, yeah, if you guys are looking for something to take shots to and just get wasted, I would take a shot every time someone screams because it happens a lot. Uh, thank you guys for watching the review. And I'll have another review out for you guys tomorrow, which will be a surprise. I'll check you out later. Peace.